that is it. I am in Berlin, guys. So normally, when people do a room tour, they show you walking in. I have just skipped the whole thing and I'm just going to walk you through from inside the room. So I am here for five nights and I'll tell you more. So let me take you on a mini tour of uh, the room and uh, you may be surprised by one or two things. <laughs> It's very close to the station, but before I go on with that, here is the mini surprise that I was telling you about. So there's a kitchenette, which appears so far to have everything. Well, let's see. The most important thing for me is coffee. So when there's that there, it means for me it's a bonus. It wins. <laughs> let's see what's in here. So plates. And what else? if I ever think of cooking as I'm not like an early morning breakfast person oh there's a fridge then it comes in handy so what I'll do is I'll just open all the cupboards so you get to see what it looks like from a distance okay so that is the layout of the little kitchenette and then I've got a separate sitting here should I have any visitors now let's see what's outside okay so where i am it appears that i'm in like an industrial area so far nothing to write home about <laughs> okay so this is it it's very um industrial okay like apartments it seems all right so that's a mini tour of the hotel room in berlin Guten Morgen, folks and Skal. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Uh, my German is zero to none, nothing, niente. Okay, so that, that was Italian. <laughs> Guten Morgen. I am on day two of uh, being in Berlin. So far, the experience has been brilliant. People are very fl friendly, if I can speak. And today, off to the zoo with the kitties. Uh, not usually a big fan of zoos, I prefer to be in like reserve parks, but 
when in Berlin do as the kiddies do so I'm going with like my miss and nephew their toddlers I'm sure and my also my sister and also I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll enjoy it so where I am it's close proximity to everything and so far it's been easy to um, to be able to like transit or walk um, most of the places I will be like dropping links of um, the hotel where I stayed should you wish to stay here it's great it's pleasant it's got like a, a laundry uh, room apologies for like the sound in the background I've got like um, German channel playing should have turned it off so yes there's a laundry room if you want to wash your clothes and they charge um, 250 for um, detergent and there's coffee makers there's a stove top I think I showed you in my previous um, video well the previous section if you if you saw it hopefully you did don't know what I'm saying <laughs> just speaking on this spot here enjoying homemade coffee and it's actually um, Portuguese coffee rather than German coffee. I haven't found um, German coffee yet. Where I am, before I forget as well, I'm near to like a mini mart, so I've got like my sparkling water, my vino, which is a necessity for me. <laughs> and just a few things, healthier options. So in total, I've spent about 30 euro and I could survive on um, min mineral, mineral water. For, for the week and then I've got my wine and then I just got like yogurt um, got like a mini fridge um, and if you wanted to be like on a budget trip I, th I believe that it's affordable after you've paid for for your accommodation um, so on to the zoo section <laughs> so I had to share this particularly special moment with you I almost got kidnapped or taxi napped walking minding my own business and um, the taxi driver stops i think he needs help but why would a taxi driver need help and i kindly approached him he offers me a lift so this is all in berlin folks berlin <laughs> and he asked me um where am i going and um, he's willing to offer me a ride right <laughs> and then better yet it is for for free yep a lift for free now who would offer a lift for free okay <laughs> and my day has just begun that is just I haven't even got to where I need to get to yet to uh, to the zoo here we go <laughs> So guys, it looks like I'm entering the zoo area. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I think this is the first scenic place that I have seen. Zoo Aquarium. Okay, let me just pause for a second. So we've got the zoo aquarium right over here and i believe the entrance it's taken me approximately 20 minutes to walk to here with no wi-fi Fantastic. and little scooter things pets bicycles Now that is cute. Oh my guys, so at the zoo, just right behind me, waiting for my sister-in-law and the kitties before we go in exciting time so what i like about um, berlin is you see the little trucks behind me <laughs> oh not yet so folks as, as i was saying you see the lane with the cyclist isn't that like little handy 
they're thinking of painting it so we're just right here they're thinking of painting it green for um, to see it better for the cyclist while I was thinking in um, the UK it would be handy to to have that as well and we've got like the double deck of that I don't know why I always make that funny noise. Yeah. So if you ever come to um, Germany, do look out for these little pavements that are highlighted, separate from like the sidewalk, not to be knocked up by um, cyclists. And in a few minutes, we'll be going in here into the zoo. It is called. Zoo, uh, oh, Zoo Berlin. <laughs> I was thinking of the um, London, not the London, the train stop. The train stop is called Zoo. Um, oh, I'll, I'll post it up here. I'm not great at pronouncing things. guys so nearly at the end of the tour of the zoo it's quite peaceful seen lots of animals only thing that I didn't get to see that I wanted to see because my legs are killing me were uh, pandas um, but the cost it cost 1550 euro for adults kids under four is um, it's free and um, it is worth coming um, I don't really like zoos as I said earlier but this one is much better because it is out um, out in the open and you get to at least uh, see part of the greenery in the city so we're still in the area where there was the zoo and just right in front of me there's a sign I said that you can't go anywhere without um, having Irish pubs so right in here <laughs> when in Berlin go to an Irish pub and I don't know if you can see across the street there's KFC as well mm. and a shopping area
area called Passion, Passion Mission Market. I am just mixing up the words here, but hopefully you get what I mean. So I'm going to be heading over to Starbucks pretty soon. Coffee upload is needed. This is what I like about Germany, it's like there's outdoors and it's almost European uh, countries. You see all these like outdoor um, sitting areas. We could do it a lot more like this in the UK. But when I get closer, I'll show you.
before setting off, heading back to the UK. Today, heading to um, Checkpoint Charlie, but um, half awake, half asleep, and I should feel like more um, motivated. <laughs> I think uh, in shutdown mode, brain wise, because of like um, so much walking. I'm coming up to a museum. Well, quite a few historical sites. And then I'll show you the view behind me. So this place, it looks like it's called the Biba. The Berlin War, guys. I've just been to the Berlin Wall, which I wasn't expecting to walk into immediately. I was expecting to go um, at Charlie Point, Checkpoint Charlie. Um, okay, so now I'm going to head over to um, Checkpoint Charlie. And I believe um, this building behind me is... Over here is the police station. And here you've just got... Um, you've got the wall just right behind me.
Reminds me of like the Thames River in London. We've got another museum in the background there. You can tell that I wouldn't be the best tour guide, especially when it comes to traveling here. I don't have like my my guide. I'm just using Google Maps to to get around. Okay, let me show you what I see. went to the wrong station so you have to look for um, the initials that are around you like I was meant to be at S and I took the orange line so um, the ticket that I have here it allows you to travel for like two hours and it's um, two euros 80 so you won't um, you won't get lost and you can extend it for um, what is it a whole day pass which is about um, seven euros so here we go today is um, sightseeing touring the sites Thank <laughs> you. 
that I saw. And this one. Keeps toy shop. Just been to the VL shop. VL Spiel. <laughs> and just right behind me. If you can see, that's the um, museum. Power Museum of Berlin. Such a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> the thing about here, you can end up walking for um, miles on end and come up to. Um, interesting things just as over here that it's in uh, German. So, let's see if this it is. Uh, oh, this is the Jewish Cemetery. Please observe the rules. Male visitors are asked to cover their heads and children are out on when accompanied by adults. No smoking.
super awesome and I couldn't highly recommend this place even more it is the Floatwell Berlin Hotel and Residence AM Park I would drop the link um, for you to have a look around and I believe I can also have um, I also have access to a discount code which I'll drop below so just in terms of um, why it's been fab it was mainly to meet like with my family my brother was working here just a little uh, week week trip so got to spend time with him and his family and uh, did lots of walking resting in between for fiber warriors it's a must um, and yesterday was like the last day before everything so I managed to fit in most of the things that I wanted to fit in just about three sites which you would have seen in this clip somehow um, checkpoint Charlie uh, the uh, Berlin Wall let's not forget get that and then the Brandenburg I can never pronounce it correctly um, Arc Arcway um, which was uh, superb to see I didn't expect it to be uh, very crowded because everywhere else it's been a little bit light touch not too many um, tourists around it wasn't really a clubbing trip or which I don't even do or I, I should say bars or eating trip it was mainly because I have like I'm in a place which is like very self-contained so it's more about sightseeing and just walking around uh, Berlin I hope you enjoyed the mini vlog do leave comments below let me know what your thoughts are if you have been to Berlin what did you enjoy more or if you're planning to go what are you looking forward to um, to experience as well ciao for me for now on to the airport <laughs>